Yo, so I have made a ton of money just by doing CSGO trade-ups. I have probably made over 5,000 US dollars just this year without putting much effort. And about 3 years ago, I literally had a $20 inventory. So if you want to get the same profits like I did, then this is the video for you. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do and find profitable trade-ups like I did over the years. So first things first, I'll be giving away an AK-47 Neon Riders in the next 2 weeks. So if you want to enter, just check out the pinned comment down below. Now, all you really need to start doing trade-ups is just a Steam account which has a Steam Mobile Authenticator so that you can have access to the Steam market. There are a ton of videos out there explaining this, so check them out if you have not finished this step yet. But now let's have a quick explanation about trade-ups. Basically, you put in 10 skins of the same rarity into a trade-up contract, and you get one outcome of the next rarity, and this outcome depends on the collections you'll be using and the floats of the inputs that you'll be using. So there could be many possible outcomes from a specific trade-up, and now to profit from trade-ups, you need to find 10 combinations of skins where the cost of the 10 skins will be lower than the expected value of the outcomes. So right now, it does seem complicated, but it is much simpler in practice. As you can see, there's this site called Trade Up Spy. It is linked down below in the description so that you don't click a phishing link. This is a very good site since you can basically put in 10 skins and it will show you all of the outcomes of the trade up. And if the trade up is profitable or not, meaning that if the profitability after Steam tax is more than 100%. Now you may ask, how do you find these profitable trade ups to spam? Well, you could literally just use trial and error to see if a trade-up is profitable and if you find one, just spam it out. For example, here is a very profitable trade-up that I recommend guys who has less than $10 in their Steam balance. So this will be a mil-spec trade-up in where we will be using 6 Minamora Snake Bite skins and 4 Factory New Fracture skins. So for the minimal rare snake bite skins, you can use any of the skins that I'm showing in here. Just make sure to get them for around 21 cents each. And for the factory new fracture skins, you can use these three skins and just make sure to get them for anywhere around 24 to 26 cents each. So one thing to note is that the average float of these 10 skins should be less than 0.07. So I recommend you guys that the 6 minimal rare snake bite skins have an average float below 0.093 and the factory new fracture skins have an average float below 0.035. If you don't know what floats are, just make sure to download the CSGO float market checker extension. I will link it down below. Then all you have to do is go to the Steam community market, then choose CSGO, and then show advanced options on the collections, choose snake bite, then minimal wear, normal, and mil spec, and press search. It will now show you all of the minimal wear skins that you can use for this trade-up. Now, all you have to do is find 6 skins with an average float of 0.093. And these are the floats of the skins, just sort them by float. And I generally find skins with floats below 0.098, something like that. And if you are able to find 6 of these skins, just go back to this page and then show advanced options, change the collection to fracture, and change the minimal wear to factory new. And these are the factory new fracture skins you can use. And just basically do the same process. Just find 4 factory new skins with an average float below 0.035. And you should be good for this trade up. And another way to get the inputs for this trade up is by setting up buy orders. In my earlier example, you can set up buy orders for 19 cents each. And sell off the bad float outcomes for like 22 to 23 cents each. And. And this should make it so that you don't lose any money to Steam tax, so that is really nice. Now going back to the trade-up, the trade-up cost will be around $2.22 each, and for the outcomes, we get a $9 profit with the AK Slate, then a $0.40 cents profit with the Deagle, and basically a loss with everything else. But this is still a really good trade-up since the profitability is 123.42% after Steam tax, and if you spam this trade up, you should be getting around 52 cents each time you do this trade up, so that is really nice. So, this is a trade up that I have been using a ton in my Nothing to a Knife with Trade Up series, so if you want, make sure to try this one out as it is really nice. Now, one thing to note is that it might be very hard to find these profitable trade ups if you are a beginner. And so, what I actually recommend you guys to do is just look at the trade up videos that I posted in my channel. I literally have hundreds of them. And just make sure to skip the last 3 videos I posted since the prices usually go up after I post them. 
but they do settle down after a week or so after posting the trade up. So just find the trade up video from 2 to 3 weeks ago. For example, I found this $2 trade up in where we only have a 20% chance to lose money. And upon checking the trade up again in Trade Up Spy, it is still a very profitable trade up. So I already explained this trade up in this video, so just make sure to check it out. But this is another really easy way to do it. But if you want me to make a video on how to make your own profitable trade-ups, just let me know down below in the comment section. And anyway, if you would like to see me go from nothing to a knife, make sure to check out this video. And if you would like to see the best trade-ups in 2023, make sure to check out this video. Otherwise, peace out guys.